Now, over the years, Indian badminton has grown by leaps and bounds. The boost has been heralded by none other than Pulela Gopichand, the chief coach of Indian badminton at his academy on the outskirts of Hyderabad. He's brought out a revolution of sorts in recent years in Indian badminton. So it was only apt then that we spoke to the man himself before the World Championships and we began with an overall look well, on I the contingent really travelling to Glasgow. Gopi, India have four singles players in both the men's and the women's singles draw. Given the form of some of them, do you reckon this is a chance to come back from a World Championships with more than one medal for the first time? Well, I think it's really uh, good to have uh, the kind of team we have uh, going in for the World Championships. In my opinion, it's the strongest we had. It's also the largest we have. And uh, the best we've had in the previous World Championships is one medal. And I hope that this time we come back with more medals than one. Now, before speaking to you, we also spoke to some of your awards, Gopi. And the star pupil, PV Sindhu, has of course gone from strength to strength ever since that silver in Rio just over a year ago. The only concern is a possible lack of match practice in recent times. Do you think that's going to affect her in Glasgow? Well, I think um, I'm happy with her preparations and uh, she's, uh, all of the players have, have actually had a good four to five weeks preparation before this event. And that's, that's what I would think after a long season uh, of continuous tournaments. I think uh, this was the preparation which is required and I'm... Uh, I, I think the lack of match practice, uh, for one, uh, would not be an issue is what I'm thinking. Now, Gopi, if you look at uh, Carolina Marin and PV Sindhu, they're forming a bit of a steep rivalry in recent times. You had the final in Rio, the Indian Open final, which of course Sindhu won. If the draw does go to plan here at the World Championships, they will clash in the quarter-finals. Given the Marin threat, is there separate strategizing for that eventuality or do you take it by the round? Well, I think uh, let's not uh, preempt things. Um, there are many players in um, in the uh, world badminton in the women's side who who I would think are um, very capable. So I would uh, rather take it one match at a time, knowing well that Sindhu and Carolina Marin are capable of getting there. And uh, Sindhu has beaten Carolina uh, in the last year, and uh, she probably would. Uh, be a favourite to win that. But uh, having said that, I think uh, uh, how they progress in the tournament, how they, what's their frame of mind getting into the match is what's going to be critical. Let's, let's look at your male wards now, Gopi. Kidambi Shrikant is the blue-eyed boy of Indian badminton this year and has grown rapidly with those back-to-back -back Super Series titles in Indonesia and Australia. He looks a metal contender here going by his recent form, doesn't he? Well, uh, Shrikant's performance this year has been fantastic. Uh, his confidence is very good and uh, he's done some good work get going f uh, forward for the World Championships and I do expect him to perform well at the big event. A word on the double section too before we wrap this, Gopi. Uh, India have Ashwini Ponappa and Siki ready in the women's and Manu Atri and Sumit ready in the men's. What are your expectations from the doubles contingent? I think um, going forward, I think um, this is our largest contingent in the doubles, mixed doubles and uh, we have definitely a chance to win a medal in the mixed doubles and the ladies doubles and also our men's doubles of say uh, Manu Sumit or Satvik Chirag or MR and Shlok, all of them have good uh, chances I would think and possibly a medal from that event is also possible. Right, so an interesting week up ahead for followers of Indian badminton. Let's see if they can break that jinx and come away from Glasgow with more than one medal, that 20-member strong contingent.